G'day guys, my name is Ben. This presentation is being brought to you by Beretta Defense Technologies. Today, we're having a very close look at a very special long range precision rifle system. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, Ben, is just show you how it all comes apart. It's really simple uh, and, it's, and it's been designed just to come apart using simple tools. So first of all, I'll remove the scope. off. Okay, the next step is the uh, forend. So these two screws hold the forend onto the receiver. The front screw just needs to be loosened, the rear screw is loosened and it pulls out. They're both captive so you can't lose them. So just like that. Pulls out captive and then just comes off. The four end comes apart like that. Right. The barrel. This collar holds the barrel into the receiver and it's just a matter of undoing it with the wrench. See. Right, to remove the buttstock is pretty straightforward. Loosen that screw, and then there's a screw just behind the trigger guard. So Receiver, butt group. So with the, the butt, it's designed so that it's multi-adjustable by the user while he's lying down. This button here essentially releases the cheek piece, it can move up and down, and it can be adjusted while the shooter is actually looking through the scope to the right height. Uh, same with the butt, it can then be moved in and out, and then the butt plate moves up and down as required. Uh, coarse adjust and then fine adjust. Uh, back strap, uh, easily removable uh, using a T10 Torx in there. Loosen that off. Uh, and back straps off. There's a, a medium and a large. Um, so really something for everyone. Trigger easily removed as well, essentially through here. And that uh, is, is really it. Okay, so what I've got here, Ben, are all the components that uh, make up the uh, Seiko M10 uh, rifle, and we'll just put it together. You'll see how straightforward it is. First of all, the receiver and the trigger group. Trigger fitted, butt group. Okay, now we fit the barrel. All right, essentially this slot and that slot 
fit into two pins inside the receiver, like so. The collar then screws together. Then use the torque wrench to torque the collar into the receiver. And now fit the forend. You can see there's a male-female slot that they go together. It goes in. Both of these are just firmly tightened. And finally, fit the scope. When the scope goes on, it's important to make sure it's pushed forward. Ready to go.